Okay, so how do you change your IP address on Windows? There are a couple popular options, the first being to use a proxy. Now there are free and paid ones, and the paid ones will generally be faster, and the uptime of the unpaid ones, as you can tell, are slower. The free ones can also be unreliable or risky since they could log your data or have too many ads. and. A proxy may hide your IP address, but it doesn't encrypt your connection, meaning that your internet service provider or government might still be able to see what you're doing. The other option for changing your IP address is to use a VPN, since a VPN will actually encrypt and protect your traffic, meaning nobody will be able to know what you're doing online, including your internet service provider or say the government. I'll get back to this option, but if you just wanna use a proxy and you're using Windows, go to your settings, find enable proxy settings, input the address from either those paid or unpaid proxies, hit import and you'll get a new IP address. But again, this isn't gonna encrypt your data and you typically have to manually update the proxy settings every time unless you're using a rotating proxy service. So a better way to change your IP address is to use a VPN like say Express here, which will not only encrypt your data, but will offer you the ability to change your IP address easily and at any time. And they have over 105 countries you can choose from. So your IP address will reflect the region you choose. So currently you can see my location set to New Jersey, but you can just go to locations and pick the country that you're looking to connect to. Let's pick Canada, for example, click on that. And then all I have to do to confirm that my IP address has changed is go to what is my the one you can see written here. And now it thinks I'm in Toronto. So as you can see, I don't have to manually enter any IP addresses or anything with a VPN. And when it comes to accessing geo-blocked content, like services that may not be available in my location, or if I'm abroad and I wanna access some local content, maybe I wanna catch up with Hulu or American Netflix or Amazon Prime Video or Disney Plus or whatever it is, or any sports event that may be blacked out in my location. I can just connect to, for example, an American server here with Express, and I'll be good to go from there. Whereas with the proxy, again, you're not gonna be able to access these streaming services because the streaming services can easily pick up on the fact that you're using a proxy and they won't give you access. Whereas with a big commercial consistent VPN, you can do that very easily. Now, another way to change your IP address is by simply switching your network to use your mobile data, essentially. So you can just subscribe to whatever package that you can get and use your Wi-Fi hotspot if you've got a lot of gigs to spare, and that'll give you a new IP address. You can also disconnect from your modem for about five to 10 minutes and turn it on, and it could also pick up a new IP address that way. You can even just ask your internet service provider to change your IP address for whatever reason, and then they can do that for you but those methods don't really change the location of your IP address or your virtual location online. You can only do that by using a VPN or a proxy. And if you're simply looking to just change your IP address and get some form of minimal security, you can try a proxy. But if you're looking for full security, full anonymity, and the ability to access streaming services, all with the transparency and audits behind the servers that you're connected to, rather than just connecting to some random proxy server. I mean, you really never know who's connected to that server, who's watching, so it's always a risk to take, especially with free servers. So that's why I recommend a VPN, because going for a paid proxy is kind of pointless if you can just get a VPN. Now, sure, with proxies, it'll be a little faster, but if you're using one of the best VPNs out there, you'll be in good hands, especially since they have their own fast protocols, like like Lightweight Turbo with Express, for example, or Nord's Nordlings protocol, or even Surfshark's WireGuard protocol. So these are all the fastest protocols that'll keep your speeds up with uh, these VPNs in particular. So if you're looking for a VPN that's really easy to use and incredibly consistent and high performing, go with Express. If you want more features here and there, like a mini antivirus and a bunch of other features that can be very useful in a handful of situations, go with Nord, especially because they've got the biggest number of countries at 125 now, as opposed to ExpressVPN's 105 and Surfshark's 100 countries. But speaking of Surfshark, they still have a lot of features. And even if you go for the higher tier plan, which will offer you a full antivirus and a VPN and a bunch of other features that'll just overall contribute to your online security and privacy, 
privacy, it still costs less than the standard plan with NordVPN. So that's how much value you're getting with Surfshark. Not to mention that you can use one subscription for however many phones, computers, or devices with internet as you want. Unlike ExpressVPN's eight device limit and NordVPN's 10 device limit, even though I would still say that Express is considered to be the overall best. So that'll be it for my recommendation and how to change your IP address with or without a VPN. If you end up getting any of these VPNs, I'll be sure to leave some discount links below to help you save a little bit more money and I'll also link some reviews in case you'd like to learn a bit more about them. But besides that, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.